A few weeks ago, we talked about teaching your kids about politics when the time is right and talking with them about that. Two weeks ago, I talked about disappointment. Doesn't matter how you look at it, there will be people on two sides of, of an equation and somebody's gonna be disappointed. Let's talk about that. As parents, it's very important for us to spend time with our kids. It's probably one of the biggest challenges. Another big challenge is bearing the burden of what we're passing down to them, what our generation gives to our children as far as what they inherit. When I talked about disappointment, I used the verse from Proverbs chapter 3, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Don't lean on your own understanding. As I speak, we are still battling this close election and we're counting ballots and possibly recounting ballots and we might know in a couple of days, we might know in a few weeks. Uh, but either way, like I said, somebody's not gonna be terribly pleased with the direction that we're going. I'm not here to talk about that today. I am here to tell you that as, as Christian parents, teaching the kingdom of God and, and teaching that as we step into that, that we, we have a duty uh, regardless of which direction our government is going, but also we have a duty to teach our children how to uh, feel God's peace and, and have time to look for God's direction in our lives because we can get distracted with our phones and our work and our obligations and our Twitter feed and our Facebook feed and, and our personal opinions. But at the end of the day, there is a much larger and much more eternal picture. So I thought I would give us a few verses to help us out with that. Philippians 4, 6, and 7, amazing verses that talk about not being anxious. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. It's November. That set of verses says, with thanksgiving in our hearts. We are counting down to an actual holiday that we call Thanksgiving. I'm excited about that personally. Uh, and for me, thinking about certain things in relationship with God and church and God's kingdom and eternity and trying my absolute best to be thankful for so many things helps me avoid being disappointed with other things that might not be going all that well. Another verse that I love is John 14, 27. It says this, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. You know, God's peace is a peace that passes all understanding and it, it, it's a peace that transcends uh, democracy and republics and man-made systems and all of these different things. But I think God's peace is something that we need to actively seek. I think from the moment we wake up in the morning, if we can open our mouth and say, thank you, Jesus, for this new day, and then we can actively seek God's peace and actively seek his kingdom, it is going to help everything about our mindset. There's another verse about that found in Matthew 6, starting in verse 33. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Seek first his kingdom. That means put a high priority on the kingdom of God, on something that transcends everything here on earth right now. Now, I spoke this past weekend about the kingdom of God, and it's one of those things that really helps us as Christ followers glue ourselves to each other. So this doesn't just transcend us individually. This transcends, um, you know, different congregations, and this connects the entire body of 
Christ to a mission of sharing the gospel and caring for a world around us. This is actually pretty amazing. And if we focus on that, trust me, we'll be worried less about so many other things. I hope this helps a little bit. Look those verses up. Put those verses on your refrigerator or on your computer or on your desktop or by your bed and, and really make those for this November 2020 uh, a focus in your life. We'll see you next week.